Now, in West Africa, Cape Verde's Jose Maria Neves has vowed to work together with his centre-right Prime Minister after winning Sunday's presidential election, where he took 52% of the vote. The leftist Neves defeated his main rival, Carlos Alberta Vega, who got 42% of the vote. The Vega was the candidate of the party of outgoing President Jorge Carlos Fonseca. He acknowledged his defeat during a press conference and congratulated Mr. Neves earlier. We spoke to Paul Ejime, a member of the ECOWAS Observer Group for the Kaverdi election on the outcome of the polls. Let's say that there is no perfect election, but this one has passed uh, peacefully and then um, will be scored um, in terms of credibility or transparency uh, very highly because the results were known hours after the, the, the election. The election ended around them um, uh, officially by 6 p.m. their time. But um, in a few hours, the results were already coming out. The lessons there are one, the fact that there is not much that money, there is no money is not played up. Candidates, for instance, are not required to pay any amounts as fees or deposits. In fact, they, they are given money for the votes, number of votes they have received. Mm -hmm. So that clears it. So those things, those areas that weaponize corruption and all the uh, frauds are not there. That is one. Two, they have simplified them. They are still getting to the point of having their registration cards. But what they have done, they have allowed um, voters to vote with their ID cards. You know, so technology is there. And then they also have a place where you call the, the database, where the tablets, where the technology is high, that monitors everything that is going on and helps the electoral um, uh, commission to uh, track um, uh, data and process it in real time. Voter party is one thing that they need to talk about to encourage citizens to see for participation. Uh, women participate, but there is no representation. I mean, they are far ahead of other countries in terms of um, women participation.